So in today's episode, we're in the January window. We kickstart the episode only two points clear as we drew off camera against Preston. Uh, even though league form is frustrating and I really want to get back to improving things, we have Birmingham City against Brentford to kickstart the episode in the Carabao Cup. Um, we're going to have third round um, FA Cup action in this episode as well. Coventry, they're going to be right after the first cup game. Um, we're going to have them in the league, which we might play off camera um, or just skip in general. Same with Cardiff City. We should be playing against Br Bristol City towards the end of the episode. Now, we're in a unique position because we're in a position where we don't necessarily have to purchase anyone, but it'll be nice to actually get some of the reports out of the way. So by the time we hit the summer, we can have our main summer targets lined up. And the thing is, we're waiting until the summer just so we can move in for our prime targets. I don't want to bring in any player that could potentially be passengers in the Premier League. And also, we got a few young players that are out on loan. So if they do come back out um, from their loan spell, we do want to have a few um, first team spots available. So I don't want to oversaturate p particular positions, especially that central midfield area. I feel like Seung Ho could definitely do with some backup. And what I don't want to do is sign a player now for the championship and they do really well in the championship. By the time we get to the Premier League, they get found out. So we want to wait find out um, where our team's going to be at come the end of the summer. So things have progressed into a worse scenario. I don't know how, because last episode I thought we will make a progression with Bielik. He's not happy with his uh, f um, with the amount of game time he's getting and he's considering his future. So maybe we should have checked the team stats at the end of the last episode because we've had a few changes to the um, to the order. So Stansfield, he's been overtaken by Vega by three goals in all competitions. Vega's also got six assists to his name, so that's 29 goal involvement. Despite his decline, 69 rated, Alfie May's not too far behind now. He's in double figures. But like I said, if a scenario was to take place where it's out of my hands and one of these first team players forces a move, we do have 12 million in our bank accounts right now. And if we was to add that money to our budget, we should be able to go out and replace them. So not to worry. Uh, I, this is probably the most relaxed I've been in a January window. Uh, so yeah, enough talk about menu stuff. We're going to be playing against Brentford, who have a really good squad. They have Jonathan David as an addition to their original side, um, starting off in career mode. In terms of their last five games, okay, they've only got four games recorded. So the last four games, they won all of them. They're a four-star team at the minute. They use wing play. So uh, yeah, and they've got quite a few key players on the field for them right now we might go into the first leg with a selection dilemma because i don't know whether to go with alfie may or jay stansfield but someone's telling me jay stansfield if there was any better time to rotate right now would be it um in terms of uh, the midfield i think we can go in with a uh, levitt right next to a water so we have a bit more attacking intent and uh, we have the extra option on the bench for the cdm role so yeah without further ado let's get the first leg on the way okay so we're attacking to the right brentford they're attacking to the left we're at St. Andrews as the game's kicked off for the first leg. Ball goes in. Head out. Well done, Scales. Got Vega. Takes it down on his chest. Levitt. There's a player down in our box. Oh, well. <laughs> Hansen. There we go. Leonard overlapping. Good movement there by Mark Leonard. Mark Leonard. I'm going to give that to Stansfield. He's dragged out wide. There we go. Vega. Vega. Poor attempt, man. I tried to cut in, just couldn't take the ball down and set him. Uh, Patterson over the top. Stansfield, he's on. Stansfield takes it down. Going to cut in on his left. Leonard over the top. No, they got couldn't get to that ref. Come on, man. He dived at him. He dolphin dived into his leg. That's a foul. He crosses it instead. Come on, come on, that. Thank you. He got Farrell doing his duties well. Come on. Get bodies forward now. Mark Leonard, all in behind into Vega. Vega's first touch lets him down. Ragmagnoli. Why have they got Ragmagnoli? <laughs> what is this? Uh, oh, we've caught him. We've caught him in possession. This should be a goal. This should be a. What the hell was that? Why did he do that? Stay on. Oh, thank you, Hanson. Thank you, Hanson. Brilliant movement from the Swede. Jay Stansfield right in front of goal. We hit the front of the post we've clipped the post probably the closest anyone's come up the other end lewis potter oh my god lewis potter oh my days oh my days brentford just turned defense into attack literally within five seconds we've gonna go down the canadians giving them the lead wow that one ball over the top what was montez doing what was montez doing he allowed lewis potter to get goal side and that was it okay we still got 
a chunk of um, of the game to play. So we're not going to force the comeback. I don't want the tie to get away from us. Chasing a potential equaliser might lead to them scoring and getting even further away from us. But the thing is, we're we're playing some fo we're playing a bit of football against a Premier League side that's good on the ball, good at having possession, and they're actually using their Premier League squad, unlike Manchester City. Before their goal, we were on top of them, so there's no need to be negative. Go on, Stansfield. Stansfield. Oh, I should have hit it across the goal. Should have hit it across the goal to Levert. By the time I made it past the defender, I had it on my mind now when I hit it across the keeper, but obviously wasn't the best decision. Hansen. Leonard. And to Vega. Vega. Gonna swivel onto his left foot, potentially get a shot off, it's blocked. Stansfield. Levitt. Shot blocked again. Montez. Thank you. Levitt. What is that, man? He's also had an awful game. Turn. Just give it. Just give it. Why do you need to spin that way? Oh, this guy. A long shot from outside the box. Denied. Oh, no. Nah, these changes need to be made. These guys are getting on my nerves now. You can't perform like this. You cannot, you just cannot perform that like this. It's not on. Three changes. The three, the three culprits right now. They're coming off. Williams running up the line freely because Cochrane's out of position. Come on. First touch. So heavy. Like, you don't do that in your own box. You're the standing captain. I shouldn't be explaining this mid game. Come on. Stansfield. Make that run. Make that run. I see Leonard over the top. Leonard takes it down. Leonard's in front of goal. Leonard hits the back of the net. 1-1. One, one. Well, Leonard, he's done the defender up with the first touch. He sent the defender opposite direction. And he lays the keeper down flat on the floor. Uh, this is what we need. The changes really needed as well. Jude Walsh hopefully can light up that right hand side. Williams. Come on, man. Oh, come on, man. Who's this Wissart? Wissart. 2-1. So like, there's nothing I could have done about that ball in my hand. Like, the right back's keeping Wissa on side. He doesn't stay tight with him. He just leaves him to roam into position or into space. It's just a uh, mad defending. It's mad. Can't do this no more. I really can't. These guys are... Like, when we play a Premier League side, like, they lose energy so fast. It's just like... It's like the, the anxiousness of the atmosphere drains them even more. Come on, man. Like, why am I making changes because of knots? Like, this is ridiculous, ref. Do your job. Passing the ball to the wrong guys now. I had to do that because Montez is just a pleb. Montez is just like the biggest pleb. He's just the biggest pleb. I just don't understand how someone's first touch could just take you away from your task. Oh, my God, man. We're 3-1 down. It's going to be... I won't say it's a mountain to climb for the second leg because there's only a two-goal deficit, but two goals down against a side that's supposed to be superior if this is the end of our journey i mean we did well to make it this far but it's quite shocking that we actually get a proper challenge put on our plate and yeah we crumble like that at the back you win some you lose some all over the top alfie mate get us closer oh, there we go three two like it just took one simple ball over the top if i knew that i would have just been playing direct football all game long so not second leg that's what i'm gonna do we're, we're not gonna play like we're in the championship we're gonna play like a side that's on the back foot counter-attacking football that's why what that's why we made a secondary formation sometimes when you get a setback you don't always have to see it as a, a negative this could be a learning process it's better to learn in the first leg than i've learned learned in the second Say that as women's played in behind. Oh my god. I pressed the button to actually make the tackle. The guy he just continues to glide across the floor. I hate jockeying on this game. It's like it's such a heavy, such a heavy mechanic to use. The players don't respond to your inputs. This is a baller as well. Like, I can't even say nothing about Whistle right now. <laughs> We've lost 3 2 in the first leg at home to Brentford. And um, yeah, it wasn't a terrible team performance. I just wish we could have been a bit more solid at the back. So yeah, 54% possession to their 46. Uh, we did dominate possession, dictate the tempo for majority of the game, but the chances that we had, we didn't take. So 
That's all that counts come the end of the game. 1.9 XG to the 2.6. Career mode is so broken. I just saw Kamavinga go to Brian Hove Albion. Oh no, <laughs> that doesn't make me enthusiastic, not one bit. Uh, So yeah, Alfie May, he's disappointed that we left him on the bench. When he did come on, he did score unlike Stansfield. So yeah, he does make a good case. I can't even say nothing right there. And even with uh, Christian Bielek, um, yeah, Bielek, he, he's giving me mixed signals. I don't understand. I'm really confused now. <laughs> One minute he's, he's unhappy with the amount of game time he's getting. Next minute he's inboxing me saying that he's happy with, with how I've ushered him him in back into the team since his... Oh my God, since his injury. We've got a, a sprained knee for Seung Ho. Four weeks he's going to be on the, um, on the physio table. In terms of Stansfield, he keeps busting case with these five-day injuries. Like he's got an elbow injury again. Reoccurring. We need to actually have a word with the physios like why are we getting these reoccurring injuries so just as a quick reminder our fa cup objective is to reach the round of 16 and now we're going to be taking on a fellow championship side in the third round and uh, that's going to be Coventry. so they're a three and a half star team we played them off camera before i think we beat them 2-0 in that game I, I might probably need a bit of reminding but I, I still feel like um regardless of what that score line is and despite how we started this episode i still feel like we could proceed and potentially achieve that objective it's not an impossible task we won't have jay stansfield available for the match day squad as he's still out with that five day um elbow injury Seung ho pff, we're gonna have to go in for a midfielder I, I think that's what's gonna probably happen we might have to end up going in for a midfielder one of our midfield targets andy juf like someone's in for him i don't think we're gonna sign andy juf in january so we have to have our fingers crossed that that deal doesn't go over the line but yeah it, it's looking like it's gonna become an issue Cochrane did have a weird um out in that last game so we're gonna drop him to the uh to the bench keshi anderson can move him up to the bench as well from the reserves Hansen was really quiet we're gonna go with Walsh to start this game off but yeah guys uh yeah keep leaving your suggestions in the comment section below keep leaving um your ideas for future content and feedback on how the video is going I am noticing every comment even if I don't reply as soon as you've commented it doesn't mean I haven't noticed it noticed it right away I do get the notifications we're playing a, a side us our level now so we need to go and show out after that performance but as I said at the end of that last game, we didn't play badly. The scoreline was 3-2. It's not like they got a clean sheet against us. And we did make the game a bit uncomfortable for them in some scenarios. Just want to get back to winning ways. Well done, Buchanan. It's only 16 minutes gone, but we looked really flat at the start of the game, which hasn't been like us since the start of the season. Mate, they got... They got... When you, whenever you accelerate, they do a bit too much. Like, bro, you basically just pass the ball to him. That's not accelerating. That's passing the ball. Walsh. Didn't need to do all of that. Come on, Vega. <sighs> Try to pick him out. Eccles gets it away. Not as far as Leonard. There we go, Levert. Vega. Vega. Mate, first time shot and he does that. He does that. Come on, man. Unlucky. The pressure's still on them, though. Vega's got a knock. This needs to be nipped in the bud. All these injuries. We don't need it right now. Vega. There we go. Leonard. Oh, try, to, try to finesse that into the opposite corner. Come on, well done, Montez. It's not allowing him to turn. Leonard. Mate. There we go, Vega. Vega, just get a shot off. It's really poor, man. Oh, we're passing it back to the keeper. The Coventry trying to hit us on the breakaway. Buchan, and it's just not enough. Not enough. I've not seen enough from this guy. Whenever he steps in for Cochrane, I just don't see enough. Well done. Nice flick on. By mate, Vega, try to pick up mate, who tried to run in behind. Vega, still tussling for the ball. He's a terrier. He's a terrier out there on the left hand side. Come on. Levitt, just smash it into him. Uh, with, with Clara, we at least kept clean sheets. I just don't recall keeping a clean sheet with Carter at the back. And that's my thing. Levitt. Leonard. Come on, man. Like, this is just piss poor. Like, what the hell is this? And Carter's barely even ready. Oh, no, Carter, no, oh my God. Carter needs to go, man. He needs to go. He's flat-footed as the... 
And why is a ball simply just played through the middle? Why is it just simply played play through the middle? No one even attempts to intercept. We'll go down against the runner play like, what is this behaviour? Put your foot... Now, nah, Ethan Laird is annoying. He's annoying now. He's annoying. Stick your foot out, bro. Like, what are you on the field to do? Players are tired, like, it's actually pathetic. It's actually pathetic that these guys are tired. You're tired. I'm tired. I'm tired of watching this. There we go. May, smash it in. I'm tired of watching this. I'm just tired. I'm tired of watching this. Ball goes in. Carter. <sighs> Cleared off the line. Head it down. Head it down to Ethan Laird. Why are you... I asked the guy to pass it to Ethan Laird. It looked like he just shot. What is May on? We're 1-0 down to... A piss poor commentary. Oh, this is so frustrating, guys. This is so frustrating. Just don't be I just can't believe that we wasted the chances that we had. Barely even created in the second, the back end of the first half. The first half of the, of the first half, <laughs> we created quite a few chances and we should have taken. We should have taken them. Just standing still on the edge of the penalty box, whenever we're applying pressure, like there's no urgency to get a goal. Here's Jude Walsh. Jude Walsh. His first ever Birmingham City goal. Jude Walsh has bagged his first Blues goal and it's an equaliser. It's hard for me to be happy after what I've just endured in the first half. But maybe he might lift the spirits. A homegrown talent has got us back into the game. She's just glided past the defender. I'm quite happy to have seen that. 50 minutes gone. It's 1-1 now. Come on, Montez. Get goal side again. Montez. Mon Montez, what are you doing? What is Montez? Like, he just doesn't want to do his job. He just doesn't want to do his job. 63 minutes gone. It's just poor. It's really poor possession retention. And you got... This guy's a clown at right back, man. He's an absolute clown. Just tired. Just, I'm done, man. So done. So done with this back line. This back line has just tarnished everything we've built. They've tarnished every like every the, the entire reputation. The entire reputation is tarnished. Because it's the same through ball that keeps getting through. And it's the same side as well. It's the same player that loses concentration. He's tarnished. We got him for free last season in League One. But that's his level. That's why no European club came in for him. Montez is a disgrace. I can't lie, he's a disgrace. He's an absolute disgrace after this performance. Majority of them, they're gonna be like they're gonna be considered fringes in the Premier League if we do make it. They need to prove that they've got the ball to actually get through the championship. Like, how do you go in an offside position from there? Like, there's no need for it. Like, fully, there's no need for it. Come on, let's go. Like, get full. Like, what's Mark Leonard doing, bro? We're trailing. We're in the FA Cup. This is knockout phase. There we go, Johnston. 2-2. Two, 2-2. Two. Two, two. Like, I, I don't understand the gameplay right now. Everyone, even the opposition, they look like they're stuck in the mud. Like, what has gone on here? <laughs> it's a, it's a weird-ass episode. It's a weird-ass episode. Well, I'm happy for MWK Johnson. I really am. But this is some weird circumstance for him to show up and perform. Same with Jude Walsh. I want to be happy about the performance, but there's nothing to be happy about. Like, we're playing worse against championship opposition. I don't understand that. Please, someone make that concept make sense to me. But they don't buy. They're not buying in. They're not buying into the philosophy. Hold on, Cochran. Even my standing captain, like he, he can't even. He can't even do the simplest of things. He can't do the simplest of things. I want to go up the line. He's going on the inside and still getting the pass intercepted. Guys, <laughs> I'm losing the will to live here. I'm, I am. Not actually, but yeah. <laughs> It's a bit dramatic. Let's go, Leonard. Oh, come on. And he overhits it. Like, like where, where is this energy? Like, throughout this episode, they've suffered from little foot syndrome. I can barely get the ball five yards, even if I do full power. When I go full power, it overhits it. Like, why are you trolling? I want to know, why are you trolling? I'm, t I'm speaking to the EA gods right now. Because they decide. They decide what happens, clearly. Even on manual. Oh, my God. Nah, man. Signs, signs in the air. Signs in the air. Come on, Leonard. Johnson. There you go. Johnson, go on and work it. Go on and work it. <laughs> somehow hits the back of the net. It somehow hits the back of the net. This goalkeeper's terrible. 
He's terrible. I hit the shot. I hit the shot right at him. What's he doing? <laughs> What's he now? This game is shambolic. <laughs> but we celebrate. And we're K Johnson. 3 2. Nah, man. Nah, man. Something's in the air. Something's definitely in the air. We've got two young players on the score sheet in the third round of the FA Cup. We've made it a lot longer than it needed to beat Vega. Standing over this one. Come on, make this count, Vega. We need this one to count. Five minutes to go. Vega. It's on target. I'm so down in this game, like, these guys just felt so lethargic throughout this episode, like, I'm not too sure why, it's just that January effect, it's like, the game knows that there's fixture congestion, players just, they just switch up their mentalities, <laughs> they're super tired, super lazy, the mad thing is that we had to rely on some of the youth players to get this, this one over the line, Mark Leonard, still consistent as per usual, played quite well, uh, I don't know where all these sevens come from, like, I, I like, Carter as well, like, that, that just this needs to end the lies needs to end 3.7 xg to their 2.7 dominant throughout the game created more chances the better chances and it seems like burnley are about to poach our main target for the summer like i did say at the start of the episode andy chief was one of them guys uh that we could potentially use to bolster our squad in our first attempt at uh, staying up in the premier league but yeah we can't compete with that 21 million we don't even have anywhere near that amount of money in our bank account hopefully this will be us one day uh winning manager of the year as a Birmingham city coach but yeah as it stands it just seems like we're far off it <laughs> um so uh just to switch things up a bit i i feel like we're gonna do this so we're just gonna skip these next two games just so we can get through January a bit quicker. And I don't want to play Coventry again. I definitely don't. So it looks like we won 3-1. Skipping through calendar. I just saw a headline that Andy Juve actually joined Burnley. So about to skip this next game against Cardiff City. We've drawn 2-2. So let's take a quick look at the table. So yeah, we're uh, three points clear on top of the table. Oh, actually we're not. We've dropped points. So that means Luton Town can actually become level on points. See, like, this is what I mean. I hate skipping games. And there's just so many games during the course of the campaign and the championship that you, ha you, you kind of have to skip. Like, I don't want to sit through all 46 games. But, like, you get moments like that, you just drop points. And, yeah, it looks like um, the title race is still wide open in the middle of the January window. It's quite annoying that the games that were dropping points are the games that I'm actually not playing. And the thing is, I have half a mind now to just go in the window and just spend some money. But I feel like this is a part of the challenge. Like, we've got an injury crisis with that central midfield role. And um, I feel like there are a few players that we can use in order to plug up a few spots that are, that are missing players. Like, um, I feel like Jude Walsh, he can play central. So he has the ability to play as a central midfielder because when we initially scouted him, he was a central midfielder. But yeah, we're going to cap the episode off playing against the side of sitting 18th, Bristol City. Um, in terms of their last five games, they lost three, drawn once and won once. So the, the last three games have um, have shown improvement because they've drawn and then won the most recent one. Uh, they use a 4-2-3-1 double pivot formation. They got Twine as a key attacking player twice. It's the 24th of January. We still haven't gone in for a player. We've got um, a potential... Uh, loan spell for Finlay who might uh, might become an option because yeah I'm, I'm actually livid with my right backs right now so the 17 year old could potentially get game time anytime soon in fact we're gonna we're gonna be consistent Finlay 17 years of age we're throwing him in we're throwing him in Patterson can be on the bench he's better than Ethan Laird right now especially with his fitness levels so what we're gonna do we're gonna have a water and Bielik playing next to each other so Bielik is the deeper player um, in fact, we don't even need Keshi Anderson anymore. Levitt's an option on the bench. So what we're going to do, we have Sanderson. Sanderson's barely played this season. Like, literally, since that, that first game, I think, against... Was it Bristol City? I think it was Bristol City <laughs> where he scored a header. He hasn't really played a game. I don't think he's even featured as a play off the bench. But yeah, this is how we're going to line up for the last episode. If I end up losing, you guys are going to blame the rotation. But I'm at, I'm at a point where... Some of the first team players, they need some sort of repercussions for their poor performances. And I think this is the time to start delivering it. All I really want to do is establish a healthier lead at the top of the table. And uh, we need to get the win over the line in this one. Not even we need to, we're going to. We're going to do it. We're attacking to the left, they're attacking to the right. Bristol City, get the game kicked off. There we go. Mark Leonard, long shot. Forces a save out of Bajic. Yeah, I do remember playing Bristol City the first couple games of the season. It's a head up from Ashley Phillips as a save being forced out of uh, the keeper. I'm just going to keep my finger off R2 at this point. Like These guys are just 
They're working overtime to get on my nerves. <laughs> oh, Bielik. What a challenge, Scales. What a challenge. What a challenge. Oh. They're just passing through us. Like, aside us sitting 18th place. There we go. A water. A water. And I'll keep. Try again. Try again. He's going to keep going. Oh, come on, man. Just pass the ball. I don't. I understand the, the, the delay in the inputs. God, there we go. Stansfield. Stansfield. Oh, how have you not scored Bazic with the save? Oh, that, that's normally buried when it's put on the plate like that for him. There you go. Come on, just put your foot through it. I don't even care how you score. Just It's deflected in. I, I, like I said, I don't care how he scores. As long as he scores. It's deflected in from the wall. I'll tell you that. The goalkeeper completely sent the wrong way. I just want to take a look at how the deflection happened because it did the cut scene as soon as it went in. Yeah, it just hit off the leg of Mayulu. I'll take that. Beggars can't be choosers. Oh, we need to evaluate ourselves defensively. Definitely. Definitely. Against a, a side of sitting 18, there's six positions from the bottom the bottom spot. Like, there's no excuses for this sort of performance. Probably going to come across harsh in this episode, but my evaluation is just based on how we, play, how we played in this episode, not the entire season. Finlay takes that down comfortably. Leonard finds Hansen. He's got a knock. Finlay. It's been very solid, surprisingly. There we go. Cochrane. Awata. Shield that ball. Oh, we're linking up. We're linking up. We're linking up. 2 0. Stansfield. Stansfield, that half time team talk. Probably put a battery in their back. Stansfield's hit the back of the net. I think for the first time in this episode as well. Flipping hell, man. Quite ironic that they wait until the last game of the episode or the last half of a game in the episode to actually start playing football to our standard our usual standard come on Leonard I'm gonna drill that Vega first touch get out of your feet Vega Bajic again oh the, the, the defenders put him in a sticky scenario we've closed it down referee's given handball Phillips might be time for him to break into the first team now. The thing is, we do have leftover money, so making these deals permanent won't be a problem for us. Leonard. Into Vega. Vega! Disgusting. This guy is disgusting. It's disgusting. And that's exactly why he's the top goal scorer. That's exactly why. We just need individual brilliance, especially when we're having episodes like this. Individual brilliance, I would accept. Like, I can ignore bad performances if we have that one player that could do something like that. And Vega so far has been doing that this season. It's just, a, it's just criminal. It's criminal. Like, and, and this is why the death penalty exists, because he needs to be locked up. The key needs to be thrown away. He's just been a, he's just been a rude candidate in, in the championship. First change of the game. We're bringing on Sanderson. We're 3-0 up. We should be able to keep a clean sheet. Guen to Williams. Twine, ball in behind. Great save again, Peacock Farrell. In, prim, in the Premier League, that would be a goal. So, I'm, I'm, I'm literally, I'm, things like that, I'm, I'm dwelling on. Don't worry. When it, when it comes time to evaluate the squad, I'll remember these moments. I'll definitely remember it. Twine. No. Phillips has got him. Phillips has got it. No, he hasn't. Clean sheet over. Clean sheet ruined. I don't blame Phillips. That was all on Sanderson's side, but Sanderson hasn't really had much game time. His sharpness isn't all that right now. I, I really wish we could end this episode on a clean sheet. But Mayula, the guy who deflected the first goal against his side into his own net, bags himself a goal up. Doesn't matter if they're, off, they're balance, off balance, whether it's from behind. Referee don't care. Referee don't care. My rant is over now. My rant is over because here's Vega. Heck of the Vega. Heck of the Vega. Heck of the Vega. There we go. Awata. Awata. Look at the Vega. Look at the Vega. Clip the post. <laughs> Use this Hall. George Hall on the ball. There we go. One, two. We give that to Walsh. Walsh in front of goal. He's denied. Walsh. Vega. Someone can come out of this. Some. Oh, he's offside. He's offside. But that's it. That's the last bit of action. Three ones to score line at the end of the episode. Got another league victory added to our names. So we have 3.9 XG to their 2.4. We had about 14 shots to their 10. 
55% possession to their 45. Let's see how many shots we actually had on target for ourselves. We had about 10 on target. And uh, it's not like we didn't create chances in, in either of those games where I was really frustrated with the performance. It's the finishing was poor. Um, the build-up play was poor. The defending was exceptionally awful. Like, I know that doesn't make sense, but I'm, I'm about to make it make sense. It was exceptionally awful. Okay, so we can look at this table and think positively. Because if Luton Town end up winning their game, the game that in hand that they have, we're two points clear again. So that, that, that little gap that we had before at the start of the episode, that's restored. We need to restore a five-point gap and then go further and build from there. Because I don't think we've had anything more than five or six points between us and if if we did have that it didn't last as long as maybe a week or two yeah we didn't see any new faces in terms of the transfer window which i did warn you guys it was going to happen uh, when we get into the premier league we'll be a bit more active like we just don't have the finances to compete especially for the players that we want to uh, improve the squad uh, in terms of um, the fa cup uh, the next round we're going to be playing against crew alexander most likely play that off camera but just to let you guys know who we've drawn. We've lost 3-2 in the first leg of the Carabao Cup. I'm sure we should be playing the Carabao Cup second leg in the next episode. But yeah, a player that did surprise me um, at the end of the episode was Finley. Peter Finley actually had a good performance against um, Bristol City. He got an average, uh, average rating of 7 in that match. Hence why his overall average rating is 7. Because that was literally his debut. That was his first game for Birmingham City. And he actually stood out. Um, in terms of um, top goal score, Vega's running away with it now. 27 goals in all comps. Stansfield, he's still a really clinical player for us. We're not going to forget how clinical this man is. It's just that this guy's level's above him right now. Alfie May, he's actually doing well as a squad player. And Weke Johnson's building up his um, his CV. <laughs> he's building it up slowly. He's got two goals in the FA Cup. So far, this is the biggest hit in the campaign. It's not. He's not out for too long, but he's been. this is the second time he's been out now. And um, he's out for another month. Hopefully, it's not something that's going to reoccur. Yeah, a few more inboxes at the end of the episode. You know what? I'm going to end it here. I feel like I'm just waffling about absolutely nothing. Um, yeah, hopefully, I didn't disappoint you guys. No new faces in uh, in January. I feel like in the summer, we did spend a decent amount of money. We didn't overspend. Uh, for, like I said, we addressed the positions that I felt like needed addressing, even though the defense is still in a shambolic position. We didn't sell a lot of players. <laughs> So in order to recruit money, we have to sell. And a lot of the players that are worth something, we do want to keep around for as long as possible. But yeah, enough of the waffle. Yeah, if you made it this far, smash the like button, sub to the channel if you are new, and also hit the notification bell so you know if I want to go live, premiere video, or upload one. But yeah, um, yeah, the next couple of episodes uh, should be crunch time. We're still in two domestic cups. Despite uh, having a poor performance in the third round of the FA Cup, we're still in it, so hopefully... By the time we hit the fourth round, we actually gained some momentum form-wise. Yeah, I hope to see you guys in the next episode. And I um, hope you guys have had a good day before stumbling upon this episode. And if it hasn't been a good day, hopefully the episode has uh, improved it. But yeah, take care for now.